chance They call me the first English king Although I come from France 1066 the doomsday book I gave to history So fat on death my body burst But enough about me To help remember all your kings I've come up with this song A simple rhyme and ditty for you all To sing along Oh, William Bit short, sure, innit? We need more kings Who came next? William's second cheeks were red Killed out hunting, so it said I took over everyone That's my next eldest son Then King Stephen, it's true, check it I, Henry Kew, killed Thomas Beckett Richard Lionheart, that's right Always smiling for a fight Oh, King John, what a disaster Rule restrained by Magna Carta William, William, Henry, Stephen, Henry, Richard, John Oi! Time for my mate King Henry VIII to take up this song Henry III built the abbey and one hated Scots And kill ten score and add him more than Henry VI arrived. <laughs> Edward IV, Edward V, Richard the Third, he's bad. Cause he fought wars with Henry VII, first Judah and my dad. So Henry VIII, I was great, six wives to her beheaded. Edward the Sixth came next, but he died young and so my dreaded. Taught on Mary, ruled so scary, then the long king. Me, I'm Liz the First, I had no kids, so Tudor's R.I.P. William, William, Henry, Stephen, Henry. Charles too, I like to party. King Jimmy too was scary. Ooh, then Mary was a smarty. She ruled with Bill, their shoes were filled by Salpas, Queen and Gloria. And so from then they were ruled by men. Till along came me, Victoria. William, William, Henry, Stephen, Henry, Richard, John. Hi! Henry, Ed, 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 Rich, two, then three more Henrys join our song. Edward, Edward, Rich, the third. Henry, Henry, and again. Mary one, good Queen Bess. Jimmy, Charles, and Charles. You know. And seven George five and eight George six this two then rained and how and so a famous modern song this brought right up to now. Oh. William, William, Henry, Stephen, Henry, Richard, John, Hi. Henry, Ed, 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 Rich, two, then three more Henrys join our song. Edward, Edward, Richard, third Henry, Henry, Ed, 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 Mary, one, good Queen Bess, Jimmy, Charles, and Charles, and then Jimmy, Will, Mary, Anna, Gloria, George, 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 Will. And the prize for the most unpopular king in the Middle Ages goes to... <laughs> king John! And he wasn't very popular before he became king either. Just check my email, see if anyone likes me. Nothing. It's unbelievable. I'm the king's brother. I mean, you think they just asked me to attend, like, a, a, I don't know, a charity banquet or something. It's not fair. I mean, it's not as if my brother's even here most of the time. He's too busy with his crusades. Oh, it's Mum. What does she want? Hi, Mum! John, my petit corchette. I have terrible news. 
Richard. He is dead. Splendid. What? I mean, oh, no. That is awful news. I am... Do you know what? I can't even pretend. It's brilliant news. Now I get a proper chance to be king. Laters, Mama. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Right, first things first. Let's just change my username on my toddler account. There you go. I might check my app replies while I'm here. Seems to be a lot of ill feeling about my Irish prince's joke. What's thicker and smells worse than an Irish prince's beard? An Irish prince. I don't know what they're complaining about. Oh, what's this? Duke Arthur. Oh, that's no good. Can't have a pretender to my throne. I shall block him. Do you know what? Thinking about it, maybe I need something a bit stronger. Let's do this then, shall we? There. <laughs> Uh, oh no, I'm losing followers. The French don't seem too happy with me. I suppose people do get a bit touchy when you assassinate their allies, don't they? Better he's off the twaddler for a bit. What other things do kings do? I know, I'll appoint a new archbishop. Let's have a look here. There you go. That's how I rule with strong knee-jerk decisions. All right. Oh, a message from the Pope. Oh no. That is a lot of capital letters. He is not a happy man. Either that or he doesn't understand email etiquette. Bishop Jocelyn! How you doing, my lady? Looking ravishing as ever? Your Royal Highness, I keep telling you, I'm a man! Oh, sorry. It's the name. I keep getting confused. So, uh, what was it you wanted, darling? I mean, mate. The Welsh are rebelling against you and they have the support of the Pope. Any idea why that might be? Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> Gotta go. Busy man. Oh! First the Irish, then the French, now the Pope and the Welsh. Let's see what they're saying on Twaddler. Oh, that's just me. That's it. I'm going to give them something to complain about. I am raising their taxes. I could do with a bit of cash for the army. All these rebellions and everything. Oh, it's the Barons. Gentlemen, what do you think of my premiership so far then, eh? Rubbish. Oh, come on, gents. It's not been boring. You can at least give me that. We've thrown up a document, the Magna Carta. We strongly advise you to sign it. But... Jocelyn's emailing it to you now. Her too? Him too. I'm sorry, but you've left us with no choice. There. Sent. Whatever. It keeps you happy. Terms and conditions, no one reads those, do they? Guys, what is this thing anyway? It limits your powers as king. Means we're on the show now. Cancel, cancel! And I'm awfully sorry, but we've sent Prince Louis of France a mace book invite to invade. An invasion? Now what would a truly great king do in this situation? East Anglia looks nice this time of year. I'm gonna make a run for it. When Henry VIII died, his son Edward VI came to power, aged just nine. But he died only six years later, and after that it wasn't clear who would take the throne. Are you Protestant? Are you vaguely related to Henry VIII? Is your name Lady Jane Grey? Then you've won our star prize, and you're going to experience what it's like to be queen for nine days. Wow. That's nine whole days in charge of England. Here's what you'll get. Day one. We set you up in royal apartments at the Tower of London to await your coronation. Ooh, this is nice. I could get used to this. I don't think so. Day two, we throw in a crown for free. Go on, try it on for size. OK, what harm can it do? <laughs> You'll find that out on day nine. Sorry? Nothing. Day three, it's coronation time. Now you're the queen. You get to go out and meet your public. They don't even know who you are. We don't even know who she is. They were expecting a different person to be queen. We were expecting a different person to be queen. <laughs> they smell a wee. We smell it. Uh, see what you're trying to do there. Actually, we do. Day four, you have a letter sent to Henry VIII's daughter, Mary Tudor, asking her to recognize you as queen. Fingers crossed. Day five, you get Mary's reply. What does it say? Bog off. What? Well, that's the gist of it. 
Day six, relax and take in the luxurious surroundings while Mary Tudor amasses an army to have you removed from power. What? Day seven, relax and take in the luxurious surroundings. Like I could be any less relaxed. Mum, our armies have been defeated in Cambridge by Mary Tudor. She says she's the queen now and she's marching on London. Okay, so now I'm less relaxed. Day eight, relax and take in the luxurious surroundings. Enough of this relaxing nonsense, okay? I'll have you know, I'm so stressed. My skin is peeling off. Oh, yuck, it's not very regal, is it? And day nine, relax and, oh, all right, then panic as the people support Mary Tudor as their rightful queen and all your supporters desert you to save their own skins. Too late for yours, it's all peeled off anyway. Well, this can't get any worse. Yes, it can. And this fantastic offer ends in true Tudor style with a visit to the executioner. I never wanted to be queen in the first place. With queen for nine days, the shortest reign in history is yours, whether you want it or not. Warning, limited to nine days only. Offer expires in 1553. Richard III was a mean old murderous monster. Or was he? I was sure that you'd love me. To that hope, I did cling. Cause I'm Richard the Third, and everybody loves a king. Thought I did a good job, why do you disagree? There's a lot of people spreading nasty rumours about me. Every word is a lie, so I'm singing this song. Cause the history books have been telling it wrong. Never had a limp, always walked my full height. Never had a hump and my arm was all right Never took the crown with a legal power Never killed my nephews, the princes in the tower Tudor propaganda, it's all absurd Time to tell the truth about King Richard III My brother Edward died His kids too young to rule So. I took the throne. Why not? I'm nobody's fool. Thomas More wrote a history, said I murdered Edward's boys. Shakespeare said their death was an evil ploy. But I say those two are historical vandals. They've ruined my image. I mean, what a scandal. Never bumped off those harmless young heirs. Never buried them under the Tower of London stairs. Never poisoned my wife. Bumped off her daddy. This is me, sweet Richard. Do I look like a baddie? Never was two faced. Sure, you'll agree. I was misunderstood. King Richard III. Can you imagine it? I'm the last Plantagenet, beaten by Henry in the Wars of the Roses. The Tudor dynasty didn't care that much for me. Now I'm painted as a baddie. That's my one surprise. Richard the Third. I'm a nice guy. Oh, the wasp, the wasp, the wasp, the wasp, the wasp, oh, the wasp. Walsingham, what happened to you? The Queen threw a slipper at me again. What did you do this time? I told her she had a short temper. Well, you idiot! You know that makes her angry. I know. Have you finished her portrait yet? Mm, well, it's getting there, but. I'm petrified. What if she doesn't like it? You better hope she's in a good mood. Is she ever? No. Where's my portrait? Oh, I can't look. It's grotesque. The hideous nose, rotten teeth and pockmarked skin. Walsingham, had that man relieved of the burden of his head? Mum, you're looking into a mirror. Oh. This is the portrait. Ah. Petite nose, perfect teeth, porcelain skin. Why, however did you manage to capture my good looks? Uh, well, my lady, I just did an exact copy of the only portrait you've ever liked. As per your order. Splendid. Do me another and see if you can capture my regal beauty again. I think it looks nothing like her. 
As well as art, Queen Elizabeth loved plays by Shakespeare, especially one called Titus Andronicus, in which Roman Emperor Titus serves up an unusual pie to one unfortunate woman. Is the pie made from A, her two dogs, B, her two sons, or C, leek and broccoli? The answer is B. The pie was made out of her two sons. Yes, Shakespeare wrote some truly unforgettable things. My name is... My name is... My name is Charles II. I love the people and the people love me so much that they restored the English monarchy. I'm part Scottish, French, Italian, a little bit Dane, but 100% party animal. Champagne! Spaniels I adored, named after me too. Like me, they were fun with a natty hairdo. Is today my birthday? I can't recall. Let's have a party anyway, because I love a mask. Oh, hail the king of bling. Let's see. his throne and kings were banned. They chopped off his head, then Ollie Cromwell ruled the land. Old Ollie wasn't jolly, he was glum and he was proud. Would be miserable as sin, only seen not allowed. When Ollie died, the people said, Charlie, me hearty. Get rid of his dull laws, come back, we'd rather party. This action's what they called the monarchy restoration, which naturally was followed by a huge celebration. For the king of England, no sin to sin. A whopper in my reign, London City came a cropper. So this king did what was right and proper. For the fire proved I'm more than a bother. I'm a fire stopper. Married Catherine Bracken, saw she was a love so true. There would never be another, well, maybe one or two. Lucy Walton, Nell Quinn, Mole Davis, Barbara Villiers. You think that's bad, but her name's not as silly as. As king, I must admit, I broke the wedding rules. But who cares when I brought back the crown jewels? I reinstated Christmas, make up sport, and even play. I was the merry monarch, they were good old days When said and done, King Charles me. did run England for fun I was the king, loved by everyone, my song is done Party anyone? For forty years I ruled alone Shed all those tears while on the throne What got me through the pain and hurt Was clinging to the memory of Albert I loved her so, my darling Vicky So much you know, almost made me sicky I was not liked in your country But who cares when I had her love for me Her love for me As Queen had to propose to you, you were my rock in a crisis. Like when someone tried to shoot you, but they missed. We were a real celebrity pair. Was first Queen Vic, first Albert, square. The press watched every smile and flirt. Called us Alboria, but I preferred Vic. Made Great Britain, Albert of Then Albert died 
it which left just me just me no a no a just me oh how i mourned my special pal i loved you vic i loved you ah Oh.